How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti, and I am welcoming you to the mothership. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get into PC gaming, the five simple steps for you. Let's get started. All right, starting off with number zero, actually, if you have a PC geek friend, talk to them immediately after this video. Okay, this is gonna be really important. They're gonna be happy that you're switching or th even thinking about switching. And it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a nice, fun conversation. You might get bored if you're not into computers, but you know, that's okay. All right, so here's a quick overview of the one through five simple steps. And I'm gonna break it down simple. Find your budget, determine PC size and portability, Number three, how it will be built. Number four, research general PC caretaking and apps to download. Basically just become a responsible PC owner. And finally, number five, tell and or ask your friends. Okay, simple enough. Disclaimer, if you have any questions, shoot them down below, please. I love computers and I would be glad to help. End of disclaimer. All right, let's dig into number one, finding a budget. So why is a budget important? So a budget is really important because you need to know how much you can afford and it'll actually kind of help you determine other factors of the computer, like the size, the hardware, who builds it, where you get it from, and it might actually determine when you switch as well. So here's some tips and or ideas for a realistic budget. Now, keep in mind, PC gaming can be expensive and it can easily become very expensive, like, $4,000 expensive, but don't let that deter you because a realistic budget could be around $700. Now, this is a gaming PC that will start you off well. It'll get, it'll be, you know, getting you by and it'll play fine, okay? You'll play video games that you enjoy and it'll be fun. But keep in mind that PCs are upgradable whenever and not just when a new console is released. So if you scrounge up more money on your next paycheck, you can upgrade a part or, you know, X, Y, Z, a, B, C, you know what I'm saying? Now the best places to find PC parts would be PCPartPicker.com, Newegg.com, and BestBuy.com. And I'll leave all these links in the description as well. Also, don't forget about used like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or eBay. For me personally, when I was about 19, I got my 1080 Ti, my GTX 1080 Ti on eBay for 40% off MSRP, and it was in like new condition. Now, you might not know what a GTX 1080 Ti is. That's just the graphics processing unit. It is the piece of hardware that shows the image on the monitor. Now, understanding and learning PC parts can be pretty hard and taking budget cuts in the right places is important. So there's just way too much to cover in just this one video. So I'm gonna have to ask you to do a little bit of research if you think you want to build your own PC with a friend or even maybe by yourself, which is not impossible to do. Don't forget you need to count peripherals into the price as well. And if you have a headset already, you should look up if it'll work with PC. I'll give you a hint that most usually do or should at least. Now there's lots of things to think about, okay? But don't be discouraged, all right? You got this, I believe in you. Number two, determining the right PC size or the size of your PC. So there are five major sizing options. For simplicity's sake, I won't use their actual terms. So we've got one, number one, massive for absolutely no reason. Number two, full size, which is my preferred size. <laughs> wink, wink. Nice. Number three is midsize. Now think about like those old school computers from like 2015 when I was a freshman in high school. Number four is the small, and that is similar to the current modern school computers, so like kind of handheld almost. And then lastly, we have laptops. <laughs> yes, I like laptops. Now, things to consider. Do you travel a lot? Do you move often? Do you want to bring gaming with you everywhere you go? How much space do you have? Small desk equals small PC. And lastly, your personal preference. I know it kind of sucks that that's the last thing you should consider, but if you have everything you need and you know exactly what you want, then personal preference, is, it's all up to you at that point. Personally for me, I like big or full-sized shiny rigs with glass on them. Now keep in mind, smaller parts can sometimes cost more money. And answering these simple questions that we just went over should definitely help you determine your PC size. All right, number three. How will it be built? This is pretty important. Pre-built is common and pretty typical. There's absolutely nothing wrong with buying a pre-built Best Buy or New Egg computer or anything like that. Now, custom built is actually usually pretty nerdy. Uh, if you've ever heard of Linus Tech Tips, you would understand why I say that. And either is a great way, custom built or pre-built. It's totally fine. Now, personally, I would 100% do not recommend custom built without someone familiar with building PCs. However, that's not to say that you can't do it by yourself having never done it because YouTube has plenty of guides out there. 
So buying used or Best Buy open box are actually great ways to get started for cheaper if you're looking into pre-built. Now the same websites I listed before earlier are also going to be great places to buy not only parts, but also whole computers as well. Now PC Part Picker specifically, that is only going to have pre-built loadouts on the website that if you buy through that link, you will get all the parts to build the computer. Now here are some do's and don'ts if you decide or are thinking of building a custom PC. Don't forget to download Windows onto a USB as it will be your last step in the build. You'll need to boot the computer off of the USB that has Windows on it. That's really important because I forgot to do that once. Another don't is do not build it on carpet. Static equals bad. Do be gentle with the parts. Do look up more guides. Do look for sales and deals for pre-builds if you feel nervous about building your own. If you found value in this video so far, go ahead and drop a sub down below for all the hard work I put into this, which is next to nothing. I'm totally kidding. Please though, uh, if you enjoy the content, hit that sub button for me. Moving into number four, research general PC caretaking, please, for the love of the gods. Ugh and the right apps to download. It's important to take care of your PC specifically for the longevity of it, okay? If you want your PC to live for longer and be Frankenstein, you're gonna wanna take care of it, make sure there's no dust in it. The physical and the non-physical insides should be cleaned regularly, i.e. the actual computer itself and the software. Canned air is now your new best friend, or my preferred method, using an air compressor. It's kind of convenient. Keep your computer dust free. Now, I'm a victim of this. I mean, uh, not a victim, but a perpetrator. Uh, yeah, I don't clean my PC as much as I should. I really should clean it more, but here we are. Get a keyboard duster or cleaner. I have this one on Amazon that I can link to you guys as well. It was like 10, 15 bucks maybe. And as for the inside of your computer, download this app called CCleaner and Malwarebytes. Again, I'll have these links in the description. Those apps are gonna help you keep your insides of your computer non-physically clean, like your file explorer, your data, all your like, all your software side stuff will help it keep it virus clean, bacteria clean, fungus clean. I'm just kidding, those don't exist. Just viruses and um, old files you don't use. Anyway, moving on. So some more apps to download. Steam, GOG, EA, Xbox Pass, PlayStation Pass, Ubisoft, Battlestate. Those are just kind of the most popular game programs uh, to download so that you can buy games. And then GOG is actually Gamers Galaxy, something like that, doesn't really matter. Some web browsers to download are gonna be Opera and Opera GX, as well as Mozilla Firefox and God forbid, Chrome. Uh, fuck Chrome, honestly, I fucking hate Chrome. And Edge sucks too, the basic Microsoft Edge Explorer, don't use that either. Those are just some of the popular web browsers. Anyway, and for the love of the gods, again, please keep your file explorer clean. There is nothing I hate to see more than to see a friend's gaming computer and the file explorer is full of junk or unorganized or their desktop is full of random shit all over the place. Keep your shit organized. It's gonna help you and your computer be happier in life, I promise you. It's really that simple, that's it. That's all it takes to take care of your computer. It's really not that much. Moving into the last topic, tell your friends, okay? Crossplay compatibility is honestly the biggest thing you need to talk about with them because if you come from PlayStation or Xbox or fucking Nintendo Switch, if you're some sort of maniac, you might not be able to play all of your favorite games with them. Now, if your favorite games include fucking Madden and Call of Duty, then you'll be fine. It won't matter. But not all games can be played on PC or can be played with your console friends when you switch to PC. Now, the Xbox Game Pass and the PlayStation Plus Pass or whatever are both available on PC, so those are really good places to start for crossplay, but it's not gonna be perfect, okay? Also, you're gonna wanna ask your friends for recommendations or opinions if you want that from them. How you should make your computer look, or you know, what parts to put in it, how much to spend on it, blah, 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 blah. And of course, you're gonna wanna show them your new setup, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna build this or buy this masterpiece and you're gonna show them, and you're gonna convert them to PC, and we're all gonna play on computer and have fun together. Yes, you see where I'm going, okay. So, today we talked about the five simple steps to changing your life with PC gaming. Now, those five steps, again, just to recap, were zero. If you have a PC geek friend, talk to them right the fuck now. Number one, find your budget. Number two, to determine PC size and portability. Number three, I can't speak, how will it be built? Number four, research general PC caretaking and apps to download basically become a responsible PC owner. Number five, tell and or ask your friends. And after all that, can't wait to see you on Steam. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the video of the top three games to revisit in 2023 that you'll be able to play on your new PC or when you finish building it. But anyway, we'll talk again real soon. Peace.
します。